you hear so much about when you grow up, telling the truth is important, but one of the best lies you ever told got you out of Vietnam. That's true. Like, you know, if you ever seen Mash and Klinger try to fake crazy yeah. so he wouldn't have... You did it, man. I, I was really, really good at it. What did you, how did you convince them not to send you to Vietnam? <sighs> practice, 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 you know. <laughs> what did you, I, I, you know, I had an army physical. It was the classic... Uh, it was w the stuff of Ar Arlo Guthrie's Alice and Alice's Restaurant. This crazy time which none of you will really know much about. But in the, in the late 60s, with America in, mired down in the Vietnam War, a war that I was very much against and protesting, there was a compulsory draft. And you either served, or you left the country, or you got thrown in jail, or you used your wits to get out of it. It's a hell of a way to put the youth you know, on a pedestal, isn't it? It's a hard, hard lesson for kids of that generation to learn. It was, it was, and it's, it, people don't understand it nowadays. In, in the U.S., the military is a voluntary operation. It's no longer compulsory. You're not put to that test. And, you know, I, I, I don't object to a compulsory draft, in fact, because it sort of holds a government responsible. In many ways, foreign policy is much more accountable to its people if, if young people are forced to, uh, to serve their country. Well, look what happened with Vietnam. They had to stop the Vietnam War because half of the American youth refused to serve. So how'd you get out of it? I, actually, I didn't, I didn't lie. I didn't say a single falsehood, but in, a, in, a, in an army draft physical, my demeanor was such that I, they, I was considered completely unfit to serve. They thought I was just out of my mind. Did you urinate on yourself? <laughs> well, I did about five days before I arrived. But I didn't change my clothes and all that time. <laughs> it was a deep preparation. It was a, a deep, in-depth preparation. I write about it. Yeah, that's a... It's very method, isn't it? It's a very method. It's the only time I've truly immersed myself in the method. <laughs>